गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन ताउ और फ्लोज गिव चिल्ड्रन फ्रीडम टू लिसन टू देयर बॉडीज गिव चिल्ड्रन फ्रीडम टू लिसन टू देयर बॉडीज आई वुड लाइक ईच वन ऑफ यू टू टीच योर चिल्ड्रन हाउ टू यूज देयर विंग्स ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस to soar high in the infinite sky and laying their wings to float in the vastness of the blue sky god has given whole sky to the birds and you want to encage the bird in the golden cage this is what we are doing to our children this is what was done to you this is what you inherited from your parents and now you want to pass it on to your children as your legacy when will the awakening dawn and you will break such shackles of bondage and infuse seeds of a new generation of awakened ones when will awakening dawn and you will break and you will break such shackles of bondage and infuse seeds of new generation of awakened ones i am taking in a story from osho's glimpses of a golden childhood Osho narrates in his own words in his childhood in my childhood it has been the same for centuries the children were being taught to go to bed early and get up early in the morning that makes you wise i told my father it seems to be strange when i am not feeling sleepy you force me to sleep early in the evening and in a jain family the followers of mahabir they are known as jain osho belonged to that community so in a jain house early in the evening it is really early because supper is dinner is taken at 5 o'clock at the most 6 and then there is nothing else to do the children go to sleep i said to him when my energy is not ready to go to sleep you force me to go to sleep and when in the morning i am feeling sleepy you drag me out of the bed it seems to be a strange way of making me wise and i do not see any connection how am i going to become wise by being forced to sleep when i am not feeling sleepy and for hours i lie down i lie down in the bed in the darkness time which should have been used would have been used in a creative manner and you force me to sleep but sleep is not something in your hands it cannot just close your eyes and go to bed and sleep will come sleep comes when it comes it does not follow your orders or my order so for hours i am wasting my time and in the morning when i am really feeling sleepy you force me to wake up 5 o'clock early in the morning and you drag me out of the bed for a morning walk towards the forest i am feeling sleepy and you walk towards the forest i am feeling sleepy and you are dragging me 
and I don't see how all this is going to make me wise. You please explain to me. And how many people have become wise through this process? You just show me a few wise people. I don't see anyone around. And you have been talking and I have been talking to my grandfather from mother's side and he said it is all nonsense. Of the whole household, the old man is the only sincere man. He does not care what others will say. And he told me that it is all nonsense. Wisdom does not come by going to bed early. I have been going to bed early my whole life, 70 years, and wisdom has not come as yet. And I do not think it is going to come. Now it is time for death to come, not for wisdom. So don't be befooled by these proverbs. So I told my father, you think it over and please be authentic and true. Give me this much freedom that I go to sleep when I feel sleep is coming and I get up when I feel it is time and sleep is no longer there. He thought for a day and the next day he said, okay, perhaps you are right. You do it according to yourself. Listen to your body rather than listening to me. He was honest enough. How many of your, our, your parents are honest in this way? Are you honest to tell your children this thing? Such should be the principle. Children should be helped, helped to listen to their bodies, to listen to their own needs. The basic thing for parents is to guard the children from falling into a ditch. The function of their discipline is negative. This has been very beautifully explained in this book. Dr. Cutris, all that nobody has ever told you. All that nobody has ever told you. Remember, a potter makes clay pots. First, he takes the dirt and makes a dough of it, a paste, and using that, his hands, he molds it into a particular shape. And after that, he puts it to dry. And when it is dried, then he puts it to bake. When it is, a child is that clay molded pot, which is tender. Anything can be inscribed on it. If you have attained to wisdom, you can do that. What it is happening, we see all around. We celebrate Diwali. It is a festival that happens on the 13th day of the Karthik month. Karthik Triyodasi means 13th day. It is a dark day. What happens after this? New season is coming. There is the Plants are going in hibernation. The days are long. The, the days are shorter. Nights are longer. So even the your activities are reduced. So health is the main issue. What the word health has been re replaced by the word wealth. So whole emphasis is on wealth. What it is happening in order to do that there are 28 days in a month. So 28 different geometric designs that are created each day. A new design is created at the doorstep. This is to attract the sun energy into the house, which is very important. If you have known those inscriptions, those designs, 
what you can learn from an awakened one how to create is inscribe something on the tender minds of your young ones and then allow them to grow bake them and then they will grow into the kind of citizens children that we want Shah Bahauddin he was a potter by profession he used to make the pot, clay pots and after making the pots he will inscribe the spiritual designs for transformation so his master Hazrat Amir Kalal told him you are Nakshbandi Naksh means impression Band means maker one who makes the impressions so from that the word Nakshbandi was added to the Tariqat and the system came to be known as Nakshbandi Tariqat. So you, I am teaching you, I am showing you the ways and means how to bring about the children, bringing the different information. There are different stages of the development of the child. This is a tender age. You have to mold the pot the child's mind into a particular way not this so-called religious way with the religious beliefs conditionings and everything something make him cosmic make his identity cosmic such should be the principle children should be helped to listen to their body to listen to their own needs the basic thing for the parents is to go guard the children from falling into ditch the function of their discipline is negative. Remember the word negative. No positive programming, but only a negative guarding. Because children are children and they can get into something which will harm them, cripple them. They too do not order them. Then do not order, order them to go but explain to them. Don't make a point of obedience. Still let them choose. You simply explain the whole situation. Children are very receptive and if you are respectful towards them, they are ready to listen to you, ready to understand and leave them with their understanding that you can infuse, you can inscribe into your the children's mind and it is a question only of few years in the beginning soon they will be getting settled in their own intelligence the seed of which has been given as a gardener your duty the duty of the parent is to, to sow the seed and until the seed blast seed sprouts it is very tender to take care of the seed Take care of the plant when it is tender and thereafter it will start growing on its own. So this is what you need to do. I can understand the fear of the parents that the children may go in a direction which they do not like. But that is your problem. Your children are not born to live according to the, your likes and dislikes. They have to live their own life, their own way. You should rejoice that they are living their life whatsoever it is. Only thing you guide them and give them the, explain to them the whole situation. Show them the different fields of operation that uh, as a doctor this can happen, as an engineer this can happen. Let them choose what it comes, what comes out of them naturally. Let the children listen to their, their bodies. This book, Dr. Cutris, is speaks on all that nobody has ever told you. In the formative years, this book is very important. As you grow, you reach the adolescence, you, this other book, Life, Love and Light, will be relevant for you. But these should form a gift by a parent to his children.